Yeah, guys, I can tell you, just like us, these people have more questions than answers. They don't know what's up next for them. Uh, they say that with wedding season coming up, this is really throwing a wrench in their plans. Some of those people actually hearing about this from watching our newscasts. The news article, I had friends and family um, texting me and, and calling me, you know, my grandma called me. She's like, are you sitting down? And I was like, why? And she's like, uh, so you don't have a wedding reception anymore. And I was like, talk more. My friend actually sent me a Facebook post and, on Messenger and was like, is this where your brother's wedding is supposed to be? And I was like, absolutely it is. That was AJ Denny followed by Malak Schumann. Now, Denny and her fiance are getting married in Aruba, but they scheduled a reception for November here at the Doubletree for family and friends who could not make that destination wedding. She tells us the hotel has yet to contact her. Everything she knows right now is from our reporting. Malak Schumann, meanwhile, is also in a state of limbo. She is planning a wedding reception for her brother and her sister-in-law, who are newlyweds. She said she rushed over to the hotel today, and an employee told her the workers had found out via a mass text. Now, Schumann recognizes this is a real hardship for those employees who are out of jobs. But right now, she's scrambling to figure out what's next, if she can get another venue, and if she can get her $800 deposit back. Considering we haven't got a message from anybody, nobody at the Double Tree, we didn't get a message from the person planning it for us to let us know. I found out through a friend through Facebook, like, um, definitely could have been handled better. Beyond the money, you know, I was excited to have all of my friends and family come to Pittsburgh and, um, you know, I really wanted it to be in a hotel that had a nice ballroom because I had a lot of people traveling and um, it seemed like it was a great spot that they had just redone their ballroom and everything. So, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Monroeville's mayor telling Pittsburgh's Action News 4 that he was heartbroken by today's news, adding that he's more determined than ever to save the Monroeville Convention Center, which we told you will be closing in the coming months. Again, it's right next door to the Doubletree. The employees here, we should note, are not unionized. We have made several attempts to contact local management here at the Doubletree. Those attempts have so far not been successful. As soon as we do hear from them, we'll update you on air and online on WTAE.com. We're live in Monroeville tonight. Mike Valetti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.